chapter 15 corporations long-term liabilities we are we talk about bonds how we can issue bonds because bonds is one of the most important type of long-term liabilities through some exercises exercise 15 2 on january 1 2017 key company issued five hundred thousand dollar ten percent ten year bonds at face value interest is payable annually on january 1 and instructions prepare journal entries to record the following the issuance of the bonds the accrual of interest on december 31 2017 and the payment of interest on january 1 2018 on January on, tw on January 1, 2017, cash debit by 500,000 pounds payable as a liability credit by the same amount. On December 31, interest expense debit 50,000, interest payable credit by 50,000, which is 500,000 times 10 percent. We pay the money on January 1, so we pay the interest on January 1. So on January 1, 2018, interest payable debit by 50,000, cash credit by 50,000. Exercise 15.3. On January 1, 2017, F company issued 400,000, 8%, 8% here is interest rate, 5 year bonds at face value. Interest is payable annually on January 1. Instructions prepare journal entries to record the following. Number A, the issuance of the bonds. Number B, the accrual of interest on December 31, 2017. Number C, the payment of interest on January 1, 18. On 2017, on January 1, cash debit by 400,000 bonds payable credit by the same amount. On December 31, adjusting entry for interest, interest expense debit by 32,000, interest payable credit by 32,000, which is 400,000 face value times 8%. On January 1, 2018, we pay the, the interest, interest payable debit by 32,000, cash credit by 32,000. Exercise 15.6 W company issued 500,000, 8% 5 year bond at 97 on January 1. 97 means we issue at discount. Each one bond has a face value $100, we issued at 97 at discount. The bonds pay interest annually. Instructions number E, number 1, prepare the journal entry to record the issuance of the bonds. Number 2, compute the total cost of borrowing for these bonds. Number B, repeat the requirements for number A, assuming the bonds were issued at 105. 105 means issue bond at premium. Each $100 bond as a face value issued at $105. Number A, <coughs> cash debit by 485000 discount on bonds payable debit by 15000 and bonds payable credit by 500000 annual interest payment so that's number one for issuing the bond at discount cash debit discounts debit bonds payable credit the total cost of borrowing equal the annual interest payment which is 40,000 annual interest times five year 200,000 plus bond discount 15,000 so the total cost of borrowing 215,000 or Another method, principal at maturity 500,000, annual interest payments 200,000, cash to be paid to bondholders 700,000, less cash received from bondholders 485,000, so the total cost of borrowing 215,000, you can use any method, first one or second one as you like. Number B, number one, we issue at premium, cash debit by 225,000. Bonds payable credit by the face value 500,000. All the time, bonds payable credit by the face value. Premium on bonds payable credit by 25,000. The total cost of borrowing annual interest payments 40,000 times 5 years 200,000 minus bond, bond premium 25,000. So, total cost of borrowing equal 175,000. Or another method, principal at maturity 500,000 plus an annual interest payments for the five years to 200,000, cash to be paid to bondholders 700,000, less cash received from bondholders 525,000, so total cost of borrowing equal 175,000. You can use either the first method or 